Hello friends! This week we have a new project, of course, and it is a different project. So our inspiration is an artist named Henry Matisse. He is a painter. I'm going to put some pictures on the screen. In a lot of his paintings he uses vases and he has a setup of his still life. A still life is cups and bowls and fruits of things that just sit there that you would paint or draw from. But his still lives were vases a lot of times or fish bowls, but we are going to be looking at his vases. I added a link to this video of a read aloud of Matisse's garden and it talks about his artworks and him. And we are going to make our own vase, not in a way that you think. Matisse's vases all had really neat patterns made by line and shapes. We're going to take what we learned last week and the week before about lines and shapes and use that for this project. Our vases won't look like a normal vase. They will be 3D. So these are my paper vases. That's what they look like that way. And they can sit on a table. This is a two week project. This is our first two week project. That means we have to keep these safe for next week. Ours won't be finished like this by the end of today, um, and that's okay, and we will finish them next week. Before we start making these, I want to remind you how to use scissors properly. So I'm going to show you a little video about that. How to cut with scissors, and I know you've used them before, but I have something new to show you. So I have a song to teach us how to use scissors properly. And for us to do that, we need to imagine something. This is my imaginary friend, the alligator. This is his eye. This is his belly. And these are his teeth, yes. So, I have a song to help us use these safely. Alligator, alligator, wait, thumbs up. And see, gotta stick your finger in his eyeball, your thumb. Alligator, alligator, can't catch me. So my hands are in here. Alligator, alligator, safety first. This makes our blade, our teeth away from us, never to us. Alligator, alligator, chomp. So we open it up. Slide it forward, chomp. Open it up, slide it forward. And there we go. So we're going to do that again. Alligator, alligator, wait and see. Alligator, alligator, can't catch me. Alligator, alligator, safety first. Alligator, alligator, chomp, chomp, chomp. Now that we remember how to use scissors, let's get into the project. For our outline of our vase, I have my paper folded and I check to make sure where I cut is on the seam. And I drew with pencil my vase and I'm using my scissors safely and I'm cutting on that pencil line. And I folded it so when I open it up, it's a full sh vase. I'm tracing that first vase around on a new piece of paper and I'm cutting that out. This is so I have two equal vase cutouts. Your vases can look however you'd like, whatever style of vase. And after we have them cut out, we are simply going to decorate um, one side of each for today. You can do this with markers, crayons, color pencils, watercolors, whatever you have, you can use. I'm doing markers and a line design on this one. Make sure you only color the front of these. Don't color the back yet. This next one I'm using crayons and making a triangle pattern and adding more lines. So we're taking what we learned last week about patterns and applying it to this week with this. We're coming to an end for this project and just to clarify, this is as far as I want you to get. Don't forget to take a photo of your in-process work. So your photo of just your drawings, it should not be 3D yet. Take a photo of that and post it onto Google Classroom. Good luck and I can't wait to see what you do. Bye!